Howdy folks, on the review table today I have this wonderful collection of bits and pieces a bit like a Meccano set or an Erector set for UAVs or planes sent to me by Gene Share from shareindustries.com Gene contacted me and asked if I'd like to check out some of his uh, wonderful wonderful bits and pieces um, and his idea is uh, is that he's come up with this construction set of standardized sized uh, bits and pieces uh, for connecting together components to make a UAV quick and easy, repeatable uh, and modular. And he's called it the open wing system and uh, he is encouraging uh, people to come up with their own designs for bits and pieces and join in with the open uh, wing system. Now, Gene has a website uh, called shareindustries.com. I'll link that in the description. He also has a Kickstarter project, which I'll also link in the description if you want to get on, on board and um, help get this project up and running, which is a fantastic project. I think these parts are beautifully designed. They're 3D printed, I guess, from a, a tough, flexible, rubbery sort of material. I don't know anything about 3D printing, but these are absolutely unbreakable, I'm sure. We have motor mounts there, sort of takes standard size motors, nicely aerodynamically designed there and tough as old boots. We have boom clamps, which I'm particularly interested in. I love making planes um, designed around a boom. Uh, so this one is a 10 by 10 millimeter boom, uh, sort of a flat mount with a, a clamp, easy thumbnail, a thumb screw clamp on the bottom. Got a few of them to play with, some smaller boom clamps for tail planes maybe. We'll see see what we come up with for that. Uh, we have left and right handed uh, servo mounts of different sorts, sort of smaller servos, medium sized servos. We have uh, sort of standard pattern plates I think he calls them that a lot of designs are based around these 50 millimeter by 150 millimeter pattern plates and 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter smaller plates uh, and we have sort of top brackets which also act as um, velcro tie down points uh, which can sort of go on the top of the pattern plates like that or uh, on the top of these boom clamps like that uh, it is really up to your imagination what you can come up with uh, for designing a plane from these bits and pieces and I'm very excited about this. Uh, I have a nice 10 by 10 millimeter carbon fiber tube here and uh, what I thought I'd do is I'd grab some of these boom clamps um, and what a small one first put that down the back down there or so put another one on that's a wing mount Put another one of these on around about here that's a battery holder uh, put another one on that's your motor mount done a couple of these down the back horizontal stabilizer vertical stabilizer now for a bit extra uh, mounting area, we've got some standoffs here. We can mount one of these plates on top of the standoffs. And we've got more mounting area for cameras, ESCs, uh, receivers, things like that. This is so much fun. Look at that, you know, a few minutes and I've built a fuselage basically. Uh, we also have uh, collection of nuts and bolts, different sizes, uh, up to about what, 20 millimeter, 15 millimeter, 10 millimeter, something like that. And we also have sort of uh, nuts that are embedded in these uh, sort of rubber washers, I guess you would call them, to stop pulling through foam or uh, corrugated plastic or whatever you're going to build your plane out of. That's for the head of the bolt and that's for the uh, the nut side of it there. Brilliant ideas, really looking forward to building some stuff with this. So that's the introduction. I'm going to go and buy, buy some materials. Uh, I'll get some corrugated plastic, I think, or I might even uh, find a wing that I'm not using and just whack it on here, 
pop a motor on, uh, make a flat elevator and rudder, and uh, let's go flying and see how it all works.